My name is Janet Barlow. I'm a professor of environmental physics here at the Department of Meteorology at the University of Reading. My main research interest is in urban meteorology. So that's the weather in our towns and cities. I'm also interested in atmospheric turbulence near the Earth's surface. So why is urban meteorology important? Well, since 2007, more than half of the world's population lives in cities or towns. This means that we're going to experience an urban version of climate change. So it's becoming increasingly important to include urban areas in weather forecast models, such as those that the UK Met Office um, operate. And this is also driven by the fact that these weather forecast models are being driven on higher power computers that can resolve more of the fine detail within cities. So how do we represent cities in a weather forecast model? Well, if you think about cities, one thing you can experience as you walk around is that they're very gusty environments. You turn a street corner and there's a sudden strong wind, or you can see crisp packets swirling around in the flow. So this turbulence is very sensitive to the layout and shape of the buildings. But this turbulence is important in doing a very important thing in the atmosphere. It transfers heat from the surface upward into the sky, and it also transfers momentum from the wind down to the surface. And it's really important to get these processes represented correctly if we're going to forecast temperature or wind in urban areas. So cities are very complex. So one of the things we have to do is simplify them. So one of the things we've done here at Reading is develop a very simple model of those turbulent processes. Now it's called an urban canopy model. So you can think about a canopy of buildings in the same way as a canopy of trees. So a forest is not just about one individual tree, it's about the collective impact of all of the trees on say the temperature or the wind. So this is what we do with buildings. We kind of smear out individual buildings to give us average temperatures and winds within the canopy. So we've built a simple model already, which is for very simple buildings. So they're all the same height at the moment, they're spaced equally, and there's not much heating going on. The sun is not really shining on the buildings and we're not releasing any waste heat from air conditioning or traffic. And that's where you come in. So this project is about building a more realistic canopy model, which will be suitable for inclusion in future versions of the UK Met Office forecast model. So what you'll be doing in the first part of the project is getting to grips with the mathematical model that we have already. And what you'll be doing is identifying which processes are not yet in the model and how they can, that can be addressed. The second part of the project is to look into what experiments have been done already to get information about those complex turbulent processes. And what you'll do with that is to identify new experiments that you'll design and execute as part of the project. Now, this part of the project, you'll be using a wind tunnel which are usually used for de designing aerodynamic things like cars, but instead we'll be building mini cities in the wind tunnel, blowing air over them and heating them up to simulate processes in the atmosphere. You'll be doing this part of the project with our partners at the University of Surrey at the Environmental Flow Research Lab. Now this has got a very big wind tunnel, it's 28 metres long, and it needs to be in order for us to simulate a whole city. Now there's very good technical support there, um, so you get a lot of guidance on how to use their equipment. Now the final part of the project will be drawing back this data, understanding the processes and reformulating the mathematics of the model to include them. And then trying to simulate, again, more realistic versions or cities of all different shapes of sizes. Now what do you need to do this project? You need a very good basis in physics and maths. If you have any additional um, background in environmental subjects or meteorology, that's great, but you can receive training here. If you have any experimental experience, again, that would be great, but not essential. In terms of training you'll receive here, um, we have um, training at the Environmental Flow Research Lab in wind tunnel methods. Um, we will give you all the background in urban meteorology that you need, but most importantly, you'll spend at least three months with Met Office scientists and uh, remember that they were one of the first MET services in the world to develop an urban forecast. So they really know what they're doing. Now, if you have any questions about anything I've said, please do get in touch. 
and I look forward to hearing from you.